Well, I've been up here for four days and I've really kind of watched the team improve each day, get a little sharper. You can tell the players are getting more used to being on the field. Like You can train all off season, but nothing prepares you for the hitting and pounding on the turf. And then their football bodies take over. So they're getting a little sharper. The passes are being completed a little better and a little more contact. So things are improving and the Rough Riders are making big strides towards wherever this season's going to take them. Hopefully all this work ends up paying off in a regular season. There's no delays from the uh, labor woes that are currently class casting a dark cloud over all the training camps. Where, where are you on the forgiveness of mistakes on day four? Should it be pretty well cleaned up? Everybody should know their spot. I think you have forgiveness on the things that you put in day one, two, and, uh, and you know, around day three. But, you know, there's always an install. The install last night, the install this morning. So there will be some mistakes on those new things. But on the old things, there's not much tolerance for that. Uh, that's the base of the offense, the base of the defense, the base of special teams. If they can't remember the base, then they probably won't play. Is that where guys will start rising up the depth chart if they get it? Yeah, once the guys have a, a great understanding of the base and what we do, and then they can, you know, stay in that hunt each and every day with the install, make one or two mistakes, not four and five, or, or backtracking, but learn from the mistakes. You know, and then when you have the mock game, then we get the preseason. When it scale back a bit, that's when you know exactly who's learning the base and who can play fast when they have what they have in the game plan. Okay, it's official. Drew Ray Simon retired today, and it's kind of a, a bittersweet day. You look back on Drew Ray's career, and he did so much, and was such a contributor. Gets to go out as a Grey Cup champion. Is only. You know, just a couple, last week ago, Mike McCullough got to that. So it's a, a bit of a celebration. The guys are all talking about what he contributed as a leader on and off the field. And uh, I think g is going out of his own terms, and I think that's uh, a good sign for an older player. It's official today that g is retired. He's only a couple years older than you. Is yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, what do you think about, what is he, what do, what do you think, looking back and being on this league, looking at his legacy, the fact that maybe slammed the book on a guy who had a season eight kid career? I, I just ran uh, like six 110s, and I'm tired as hell. <laughs> So I don't know how he did it to 37. Oh no, how, no, I'm 37. He's 38. So he, no, he's a little bit older than me. So you know that that's a that's a huge accomplishment for him to do that. Uh, you know that that's 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 just big. And every time when you look at it, Giroy's done a good thing. I think with Ben Cajon, Bill Stegall, all those guys. You know, for them to play that long and play that well, you know, they're to be mentioned as the greatest in this league and across the continent. You have two guys.